we're here at Pepperton and we're going to walk down to the beach. You can see the sea over there. So, let's go. So, Sari, how many leaves of nettle do we need to find? Uh, well, the recipe I looked at that we might want to use has says it needs a whole carrier bag full. But I don't know if we'll get that far because we've just found tiny little ones at the moment. But we'll it looked like all hope was lost for Sari and Martha, but then they found the jackpot! Hello, Martha! Hello! Basically, as Sari says, we have found the jackpot, which basically means a load of blackberries on a very prickly bush and some dodgy looking withered sea nettle leaves that are particularly spiky. With her furry school knowledge, Martha is able to tell us this. This plant here, which is really prickly, is called gorse. And um, the leaves on gorse, if you smell them, they smell a bit like coconut. And they make this really nice smelling and flavoured tea. So you can eat these and drink them. We arrived at the beach, set up a fire and got it going nicely. Sari got some water and we boiled our nettles. Sorry, what are you cooking for us today? Well, I've got an egg, I've got some breadcrumbs, the nettles are on the stove. The idea is we mix the breadcrumbs, the egg, the nettle, roll it into bowls and fry them, and maybe it'll taste of something. Sorry, tries a nettle bowl. She said. Oh, that, that is genuinely good. I'm not just putting that on. Martha tucks into a nettle ball also. Her reaction was uh, not so certain. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. It has a sort of texture of halloumi. Love halloumi. But anyway, Sari and Martha, what even is sustainable living? Sustainable living is all about not taking too much from the environment, like not depleting the resources that it has to offer and using more than the environment can produce. So, when we were foraging, we wanted we took the nettles, but we don't want to take too much, that there isn't enough for any animals around that might want to eat them, or there is, we take too much that there aren't enough nettles left to reproduce. A sustainable living is all about taking from the environment, but not taking too much so that your environment can keep going. In the UK, however, in modern day times, we consume too much and we waste ridiculous amounts of products. In the UK, every year we waste 7 million tonnes of food and drink, and over half of that we could have eaten. We are consuming way too much at the moment, and it's important that everyone tries to make at least a little bit of difference in their home and work towards living sustainably as a whole population. Sustainable living, sustainable living, just one night to sustain your life. Sustainable living, sustainable living, just one night to 